I really wanted to like this. I really did. I really wanted to go into these games with an open mind and have a lot of fun, especially with this particular thing that I'm going to talk about. For those of you guys who don't know, um, I'm more of a Battlefield fan. Not so much anymore, but, you know, Bad Company 2, Battlefield 3, I think were good games. Battlefield 4, they fixed it, and most likely I'll probably still end up playing it on the PS3 when it goes down to like 20 bucks. But I have it on PC, and I just don't particularly care for it that much. Um, I just, I don't like what Battlefield's turning into, which I think is, you know, Call of Duty, but that's debatable. But I wanted to actually th throw that idea out there real quick, because I know there's going to be people thinking, oh, I'm just biased against this, uh, which I will have another video or another topic pertaining to Call of Duty where I'm actually going to talk positive of it. Probably later in this video, maybe even a whole separate video. But I was out at GameStop today, and uh, I went out and I was like, "Oh, hey, let's look at the let's look at the games, see what's on sale." You know, just in the used section. Didn't really have a lot of money, but I was like, "Hey, I got a couple bucks here. Maybe there's something cool I could get." And I saw Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now I'd never played much of the game. Played it when it first came out, but I never bought it. I just played it at someone's house. And I was like, eh, it's not really my thing. Don't really care for it. Um, but I figured for $3, I'd give it a chance. I could co-op some stuff on it, play the single player, and for 3 bucks, hey, the trophies at least would be worth it. You know, and I figured, oh, hey, this is a really popular game. Everyone says it's the best one, which I think is highly debatable. But... I went ahead and I'm like, okay, let's let's play Modern Warfare 2, apparently the best Call of Duty game. Now, me personally, I don't play the multiplayer for these games. I don't see the point in a game where the, the skill is based on, oh, well, who has the better connection? Who's host? Who's this? Who's that? It's like, you know, here's this most OP weapon. Are you not having those three things? Well then, okay, you're not going to do well in Call of Duty. I don't like that. So, the only Call of Duty game I actually have right now, or that I had before this, was Black Ops. And I enjoyed the multiplayer modes. Hence why I bought Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Now, I also bought Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Now, again, I play this pretty much for the multiplayer modes. I could give a shit about the multiplayer. I really could. If you guys out there watching this like it, that's fine by me. I don't care about that kind of stuff. I don't care about a game that is like, okay, do you have the best connection? Well, then you're disadvantaged. You have the best gun, the most OP gun. No, well, you're disadvantaged. Because then if this person who I'm playing against has all those three things, then they'll be able to mop the floor with me in Call of Duty. And to me, it doesn't seem skill-based at that point. It just seems I have the right things to now be more advanced you know better than you while battlefield it's not really about that yes there are op guns but you can still get around some of those things you know it's not based on really connection or anything but again that's all up for debate but i play the multiplayer modes and you know granted i will play the single player i know there's a lot of people out there that don't but hey i will so, I got home, asked a buddy of mine if he wanted to get on and play the Spec Ops co-op missions for fun. I figured why not jump into it and just play the campaign later. So I was like, okay, let's, let's jump in and play this. And from what I understand, this actually still worked. So I don't know, you know, this worked at one time, but, you know, now when I'm making this video, again, this could be very different, but for me... This did not work. What happened here? Apparently this is the best Call of Duty and it has like the worst support I've ever seen. Now granted, multiplayer wise, it might be great. 
Maybe that's the only thing people play, so that's the only thing they care about. And as long as that works, hey, who cares if Spec Ops mode works? What's Spec Ops mode? Um, basically, it's just the Special Ops mode, which is co-op. It's basically just a fancy name, I guess, for co-op. So I played it, and like I said, I had horrible lag. Oh, it's your connection. Oh, it's your PS3. Oh, it's this. Oh, it's that. No, it's not. The game for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the servers they have it on, or what the problem is. My connection is fine. It has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with me being host, or not being host. It had nothing to do with that. Regardless of which way I played, the game had severe rubber banding and lag. Problems. The, the, it, was, it was unplayable. It was like playing Battlefield 4 last year and in January you know before they patched it to where they fixed it and again I'm not a big fan of Battlefield 4 I'm not a big fan of Hardline I said in one other video I was gonna get Hardline probably not gonna get it anymore I had the beta downloaded on my computer didn't even bother playing it cuz I could give a shit about those games anymore but I figured for three dollars I'll try Call of Duty you know, granted, like I said, I'll probably still get Battlefield 4 when it's $20 on PlayStation 3. Okay, but regardless, that's another topic and another discussion for another time. But Modern Warfare 2, I didn't care for. I didn't. For the fact that the, the networking was so bad... I would be shooting full auto and it was burst firing. It would be four rounds, two rounds and miss, four rounds, two rounds and miss, and I'm just sitting there holding R1 to fire. It had those problems. It hit detection problems. I'd move to the left or right and I'd be rubber banding, you know. It would be like if I had a really bad connection playing Battlefield. Like that's what it felt like. It felt like my connection was bad and it wasn't. And this is the cool thing. This is one of the pro points I'm going to talk about. I also bought Modern Warfare 3. I bought that. I think it was like $7. Right? I got both games. Because I wanted to give Call of Duty a fair shot. Played Modern Warfare 3. Flawless. No problems. Maybe if there was a lag spike here or there. Okay. I usually let that slide. Which actually we didn't have any lag spikes. There was one uh, hiccup in the game and that was when a big explosion came by and it just hiccuped the game for a second that was it other than that played every spec op mission tonight perfect played it and completed it played the survival mode loved it loved survival so for me personally just from what I've played so far Modern Warfare 3 to me is better than Modern Warfare 2 just for that now again Multiplayer wise, maybe debatable. Multiplayer wise, Modern Warfare 2 may be miles better than Modern Warfare 3. All I ever heard was negative things for Modern Warfare 3. But after playing it, and after playing both games, I think this game did a lot worse. Now, again, you're going to wonder oh, why do you disable ratings? Why do you disable comments? Well, I'm doing that from the start. I don't want to hear anybody's opinion on this whole thing. I just feel like making this video to just have another video for, for me to watch. Whether 5 people view it, 20 people, 100 people, 1000 people, I don't care how many people view it. I just felt like making a video on this. And I'm not going to leave it subject to rating or comment because it's nothing worth writing about. There's nothing worth commenting on. I don't care how to fix the problem because I'm returning the game. I know it's not the game's fault because I had an, the person I was playing with was having the same problems. We changed being host. You know, one person was host once, one person was host a different time. It didn't matter who was host and who wasn't. It didn't work properly. Now again, maybe that was patching. Maybe that was, hey, this game is old, so we're going to put it on our really shitty servers. I don't know. But it had nothing to do with my end or the person who I was co oping it with. It wasn't their end either. 
So I don't know what happened with this game. That's what I'm asking. What the fuck happened? It's ridiculous. I'm playing Modern Warfare 3 and loving it and only wishing that Modern Warfare 2 was the same and that I could enjoy Spec Ops. Granted, some people don't care about that. I understand. I don't care about the multiplayer. So I don't care how great the multiplayer is in, in Modern Warfare 2. I don't care how good the maps are. I'm going to play this for the campaign and for the co-op missions because there's no trophies for multiplayer, thank God. And I can't play the co-op missions for the most part. I'm going to play them just to completion. I'll probably grit my teeth and bear it. But I'm not going to go for 69 stars or whatever. Completing all that shit on, on veteran. No way. And it pisses me off. It's like, wow, really? I can play a game like Modern Warfare 3 and have no problems. But Modern Warfare 2? All kinds of problems. So it has nothing to do with, oh, my connection. Because I was able to play it perfectly fine. So I'll make up probably another video on Modern Warfare 3 once I play through the campaign and play it some more but I'm really enjoying I, I never thought I'd say it but I'm enjoying Modern Warfare 3 I really am I'm genuinely enjoying it now granted I got the game for like seven dollars used but hey to me that's worth it as long as I'm having fun with it okay but Modern Warfare 2 I did not enjoy I have not enjoyed it yet I've not played the campaign I didn't play the campaign on Modern Warfare 3 yet so I can't judge those things yet but from what I've played of Spec Ops, I loved it in Modern Warfare 3, and I hated it in Modern Warfare 2. Mainly because it didn't work. Now, if it worked in Modern Warfare 2, I'd probably like it. I'd probably have no issues with it. I had no problems playing the very first mission, because there were no enemies. But when enemies started getting on screen, it started lagging. I don't know why. It made no sense. But if I was playing Modern Warfare 3, perfect. So, I don't know. But for me personally, what the fuck happened? Now, does this mean I'm going to white knight for Call of Duty also and say, oh, I'm going to buy all the future releases? No. The, the game franchise was lucky for me to even buy these games used at GameStop. You know, 10 bucks couldn't go wrong. And I didn't. I, loved, I, I enjoyed Modern Warfare 3. I'm not going to play the multiplayer. I have no intentions of playing the multiplayer. But I, I liked Spec Ops. I love the survival section they put in. Uh, and I haven't played the Chaos mode. I haven't played that yet. But Modern Warfare 2... I'll probably end up playing the, um, the campaign. Just to beat it, just for story's sake. And then I'm going to return it. Because it was just that bad. If you guys like Modern Warfare 2 for the multiplayer, cool. Good on you. I don't care about multiplayer for those games. And I just feel like I'm repeating myself, so. Again, uh, I've given Call of Duty so far a fair shot. Overall, I think it's just. Modern Warfare 3 is decent. It's, you know, it's fine by me. Um, Modern Warfare 2, not so much. Black Ops, I like the modes. Single player was okay. From what I understand, single player is really good in Black Ops 2. But from what I understand, they really messed up the multiplayer modes I liked. So I've never played that since. So there you go. If you wanted to know my history and thoughts on the Call of Duty franchise, at least of those few games, there you go. So that's it. Till next time, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.